Mr. President, if CY Leung announced earlier that he would not seek a re-election, I think the motion debate wording will be different. Uh, I would say prerequisites for the next chief executive. <coughs> However, I did not have time to change that. CY Leung should understand that the reason why he could not seek re-election, one of the reasons was that he could not name any one uh, secretary who's got the caliber to be one. And uh, that should be uh, advice to all those who seek to run in the chief executive election. And I think this is quite a forward-looking uh, motion. We don't talk about secretary for labor and welfare or uh, any other bureau because in the past four years or so we see that in the governance of the Hong Kong SARG Secretary for Education has uh, stood out because he has delivered nothing. Well Hong Kong is very small we rely heavily on talent however CY Leung for four years has uh, only minded about land, about a struggle. He's completely forgotten about working together. He has given the important task of education to Eddie Ng, who is nicknamed No Good. Well, if education is important to change your uh, destiny, well then if Hong Kong SARG continues to abandon education, then we have no future. Education is not like economic uh, um, development, not like fire services. Uh, there is no immediate consequence that is serious. However, if you neglect it over a, over a period of time, you will feel the, the uh, dire consequence brought by it. We have a, a very strong pool of talent, but there has been no development whatsoever for the past four years. If we look around, um, important, you see the important on education, say Shanghai. They talk about um, um, quality schools. They aim at improving schools with a poorer condition because they want to create a level playing field and they want to boost the um, competence of the school. In Taiwan, 20 years ago, they came to Hong Kong to learn from us. However, what we see nowadays is that Hong Kong teachers, Hong Kong parents would go to Taiwan to learn from them. So it's completely the other way around. Singapore, uh, with the continuous improvement of an education on science and mathematics. However, when it comes to Hong Kong, we used to rank second or third, but we dropped to ninth. When most of the economically advanced uh, countries have spent more uh, on education, that say at least 5%, in Hong Kong it has dropped to 3.3%. I don't want to see that at all. Um, Eddie Ng, the secretary, spent his time planning for visits to sightseeing. Can he see that uh, the gap is getting bigger? I think the root of the problem of the delays in our education policy is that the chief executive attaches no importance on education and the secretary for education has not got his heart on education. We see that for free kindergarten education is not really free uh, for the um, salary scale or kindergarten teacher. You don't see it being realized. And TSA it has uh, made students and parents suffer. However, Eddie Ng insists that uh, this school year there will be the um, P3 TSA. And uh, we ask for reform, um, uh, three to one. However, Eddie Ng bargain and said that it can only be 2 one, one. and the experience of the secondary school has suffered and young teachers uh, won't be able to have a proper career. When it comes to tertiary education, students are laden with a heavy debt. Eddie Ng doesn't care. Apart from going away to um, Site C, he's only concerned about the road and um, Belt and Road Initiative of $1 billion. He has placed the focus on the wrong areas. He has uh, an appalling performance and it has brought, um, it has uh, dragged us into the mud. 
and Hong Kong people are furious. We have to learn from such bitter experience or lesson. I'm not here to talk about, to focus on the poor performance of Eddie Ng. We should learn from this. We have to be very careful in the selection of the next Secretary for Education and the responsibility is on the chief executives. So all potential CE candidates listen to every what every member uh, is, is going to say today. I ask uh, the Hong Kong U Public Opinion Program to conduct a survey. This is the finding. We have interviewed a lot of members of the public and teachers to ask them about their expectation of the next Secretary for Education. The, f the conclusion is simple. The most important thing is integrity, sense of commitment and uh, will not um, evade responsibility. 60% of the um, public and 70% of teachers have chosen that. Second is that they will listen uh, to uh, comments and they will have a sense of calling when it comes to education. And I am sure that uh, many members here would agree. I was only talking about the, ba the basic requirements of, um, uh, of accountable prin of, uh, principal officials. We're not talking about anything. We're talking about a sense of commitment uh, with integrity and uh, not to e evade responsibility and to listen to views and respond to them. These are basics. How come that uh, the public and teachers when um, being interviewed uh, attach so much importance on these and there's also uh, be conversant with uh, education policy and a sense of calling. Why? Because the, the incumbent secretary doesn't have that. And I'm sure that uh, we want more from the next secretary. If we are to have an excellent uh, secretary for education, what more, do, what more does he or she need? Recently, someone told me that that person should have vision and uh, on education, has leadership, and uh, should have a profound understanding uh, of the problems in education and has the ability to mobilize people to work for him. So these qualities are very important. This is the, the, the only way to solve the problems of education in Hong Kong. I can't list out, I can't give you an exhaustive list here today, but I'm, I'm sure that uh, um, everyone here will agree to the points I've just mentioned. The challenges faced by the chief executive and the secretary uh, is something that we have to consider. We require certain things from uh, the next uh, chief executive because of the challenges he or she is going to face. And these are challenges that we, ha we see today. There are 10 challenges I would like to uh, propose. First, how to inject energy into the entire education system in terms of uh, financial uh, support, recurrent support, and the reduction of administrative workload so that teachers will, have a, will work with a positive vibe. Two, when it comes to um, nurturing the uh, care of uh, society and country, they have to avoid politicizing it. There should be a comprehensive under there should be training on comprehensive understanding and critical think independent thinking. Free uh, academic autonomy, freedom of tertiary education institutions should be preserved and support should be given to them to develop. Four, I hope the next secretary will attach importance to social fairness and to strengthen our uh, public education system and to boost the ability of schools. Five, when it comes to pre-primary pre education, it should be people-based. Well, when it comes to uh, parents feeling ov overly competitive, we have to be patient because this is a daunting task. We have, it, it, it involves a paradigm shift of uh, mentality. Six, we have to review these um, secondary, uh, secondary school education so that more electives uh, should uh, be offered and TSA should be something that will not cause sufferance to our primary school uh, students. 
Next is uh, when it comes to ethnic minorities, my, um, other minority groups, uh, students with uh, special education needs, those from poor family, uh, in all, the underprivileged and on top of that, a, sm a small group of um, um, s students with um, With, uh, with excellent uh, performance, that more support should be given to them. In the past uh, 10 years or so, we have no proper planning. We have to provide a stable environment for schools so that teachers can focus on teaching. Nine, they should attach importance to a professional education and improve the teacher to student ratio. And ten, we have to protect and ensure that the education system in Hong Kong, so that Hong Kong will continue to take the lead so that um, uh, we are able to train our manpower to support economic and societal development. So all in all, I would like to say uh, four things. The future challenges faced by the next secretary is how to be people-oriented and uh, to attach importance on professionalism and uh, to strive for excellence. I propose this motion because um, the education sector has been suffering. Teachers are, are laden with a heavy workload and we have the, um, uh, this chief executive election, a number of potential candidates have um, appeared and th we have to give them this important task. Perhaps in the past the chief executive could just um, appoint any, anyone, Tom Dick or Harry, to be a secretary because it doesn't take someone special or any uh, caliber to be one. But I have to make it, I have to drive the point um, home that they have to be very, the person have to be very careful if a, prop, a right person is uh, appointed to be the secretary, we will be very grateful. If not, then uh, education will start, will uh, have a very um, poor starting point. So we have to find a good chief executive for, for, the, for him or her to find a good secretary.